Hey guys, my name is Yasmina and welcome back to my channel. I make weekly videos all about books, book recommendations, writing and the publishing world, so if that sounds like something interesting to you, please hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out a lot. In today's video I'm going to do a book review of The Selection by Kira Cass. This is the first book in the Selection series. So I read this recently and... I was surprised. I'll just say I was surprised. Okay, so The Selection is a YA dystopian novel. I think this came out around, you know, the whole dystopian frenzy, Hunger Games and things like that, and it totally fits into that genre perfectly. So in this world, it's our world, but in the future, after some wars between China and America and the rest of the world, took place, our society looks very different and people are compartmentalized in castes? Castes? I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that actually. But basically they are given a number and that number gets passed down through generations and so if you're born into a number, for example a four or a five, then unless you marry into a higher uh, category, so like a three or a two, then you'll always be considered a four. And these categories also have certain careers associated with them and certain statuses as well. And so the higher the number, so a one is a really, really famous person or, or a royal, and then obviously a 10 would be the lowest level of society. So in this first book, we follow America Singer, our main protagonist, who is a 16-year-old girl who just got her letter to potentially apply to the selection. Now, the selection is a world or is a countrywide event that takes place if the crown prince of the royal family is in search of a wife. And it's kind of like a televised reality show where all of the eligible single ladies in the country get sent a letter and they have the opportunity to apply to take part in this selection and if they make it through then they go to the palace with all of the other ladies who have been selected and then um, it's kind of like a the bachelor sort of situation so there's this prince who is the young eligible bachelor who then has to choose a wife amongst the selected. In this first book, 36 ladies who are selected and shipped off to the royal palace and it's a whole show, like, you know, they have interviews, they have cameramen surrounding them at all times, they have stylists and things like that. So that's kind of the premise of this novel and of the series, it's this whole selection. So America Singer gets her letter and at first she has no intention to apply, she thinks it's silly, she thinks there's never, would never be any chance for her to actually get into the initial selected, let alone win. But her mother is very insistent on this. She thinks she could actually win and they also need the money. There are a five, a family of five, and they are artists. All of them in this family have artistic capabilities. America Singer, so the family name is Singer, so that kind of gives you an idea of what they do. But anyway, America does not want to take part in this. Not only because she thinks it's silly, but also because she has a secret boyfriend. This secret boyfriend is a, of a different cast than her and usually these interrelationships between members of the cast are kind of frowned upon and so they kind of have to keep it a secret from everyone. But then as she's on a secret date with her boyfriend, he actually insists that she should apply as well. And so she finally, both by her boyfriend and by her mother, she is convinced to apply because if she is selected then her family will get some money because she's participating in this event and so she wants to also help her family through that. So she finally decides to participate and lo and behold she gets selected, of course otherwise she wouldn't be the main character. But yeah, she gets selected and then is shipped off to this royal palace and you know right away she's getting interviewed, she's getting filmed and she's already starting to get fans because obviously this show is then televised to the whole country and people are already choosing their favorite girls. And so she gets to the palace, she starts meeting some of the other girls and you know it's kind of like that strange sort of you were rivals but shouldn't we be friends, should we be friends and then there's, there's of course clicks. And yeah then we follow America and the rest of the cast as they try to seduce the prince. However here's the thing, America is not trying to seduce 
the prince. She has a boyfriend who she loves very, very much and who she wants to marry. So she's only really in it for the money. <laughs> and so she wants to be kept in the selection as far into the event as possible because the every week her family gets some money because she is in this event. And so on their first date with the prince, Prince Maxon, um, she comes clean to him about this. And he sees this as an opportunity to have a friend, sort of a confidant in this group of selected women because he's also in over his head in this whole thing. He's a young prince, he has no idea what's happening, but this is something that is kind of put upon him that he has to take part in this. He's very inexperienced with women in general, you can totally tell that, and he just, he's, he's very awkward and he doesn't really know how to behave with 36 ladies who are, who are all trying to court him. And Maxon agrees that America will be his friend and nothing more. So that's pretty much the setup, okay? I'm not gonna go into too many more details and spoilers, of course. On the surface, this isn't the type of book that I would normally go for or I would normally like. I'm not too big into romances, not if the romance is the main plot of the story. But to be fair, in this situation, it's not like it is the main plot, but it's also not because you have this whole dystopian world. It's kind of it's super interesting. The entire dynamics between the people, between the different castes in society and also just the relationships that form throughout this first book got me hooked. I was really hooked on this book. I read it super, super fast. I mean, I read it in about two days, which for me is fast. You could probably read it in one sitting to be fair, but I'm not the fastest reader, so for me this was super fast and I really liked it. To be fair, I really like America. I just, I liked her personality, I liked that she was honest. She does make some dumb decisions along the way, but honestly, who wouldn't in that situation? All in all, I really liked her character and I like Prince, Prince Maxon as well and I like their courtship. Yes, some of the dialogue was cheesy, yes, uh, some of the situations and some of the stuff that happened is a bit ridiculous and maybe unbelievable, but it's fiction. I don't look at it so seriously. Like, of course this wouldn't happen real in real life. It's fiction. Yes, it's a bit ridiculous, but it was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed myself reading this book and immediately after I finished it, I already ordered the next two books in the series. There's five books in total, but the first three are focused on America and then the next, the other two I'm pretty sure are of her daughter, I think, who's also going through the selection. I'm pretty sure it's something like that, but for now I just want to read this first, the first three books. I really liked it. I think I gave it about a four out of five stars on Goodreads and I just had a lot of fun. It was very addicting. I couldn't really put it down. I just wanted to keep flipping the page and keep seeing what, what happens. And yes, I know I am very late <laughs> to this party of liking this book. This book went viral. I think it sold over 16 million copies or something insane like that. I'll put the actual number in here because I might have said that wrong, but I know it was incredibly popular and it is soon to be a Netflix adaptation. I think it will be a movie or a series of movies. Th this entire book and the series just has an aesthetic. Like you can just feel the aesthetic, you know, these, like the cover, look at the cover, you know, these huge, expansive, beautiful ball gowns and, you know, the girls are all styled and, you know, pinched perfect, of course. I don't know, I had a lot of fun reading this book and so I want to recommend it as a very fun escapist book. You know, don't take it too seriously, it's a bit ridiculous. The names in this book are also a bit ridiculous. The main protagonist is called America Singer, for one. And then the actual country of America is not called America anymore. The Chinese took over and they renamed the United States to the American State of China. The names of this book are a bit silly. The world building is a bit silly, I'll give you that. I can look past all of this and just say that I really enjoyed myself reading this book and if you can look past stuff like that, then um, if you like sort of romance and courtship, I think you will really enjoy this as well, if you haven't read it already. I know I'm really late to this ball party. <laughs> so how many of you guys have read this selection? Because like I said, I know I'm very late to this. What do you guys think about it? Are you excited about the Netflix show uh, coming out or movie? And uh, I don't know, have you read it recently? Do you like it now versus if you've read it before? Uh, because again, this came out a while ago and I am late to things as usual.
but let me know what you think of this book if you've read it. So that was my review of The Selection. I will come back and do a series review, hopefully, after I've read the rest of the books in the series. And otherwise, I think that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave a link to The Selection in the description, of course, if you feel like picking it up after watching this video. Um, and otherwise, I will leave other links to other videos and recommendations from me at the end of this video and down in the description. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!